Getting set to go green here at the Milwaukee Mile for the first time here in the Cup Series. Nick Smith, here go Jones, your front row. As Nick Smith captures his first pole of the season, looking for some good luck here. Hugo Jones on the outside row. As Nick Smith, your leader. Green flag is in the air at Milwaukee. Smith leading the drivers here down into the corners. Out of turn two, 37 Abdullah trying to take second. We're still green here. We had Rex pretty early on in the Xfinity Series race. We'll see how these more experienced drivers handle this track here. This is out of turn um, four, Nick Smith. Uh, last time we saw Smith in victory lane, it's been a really long time. I can't even remember. This is um, every driver's first time on the track. Well, for most drivers, um, some drivers did um, perform in the Xfinity Series race. Little Goldberg, one of those drivers, he moves into third. He's going to try to take, um, move up there with those guys, try to get the lead. Battle for position here. Nathan Fodden, Philip Parker, or uh, Nathan Fodden and Joe, Joe Jefferson, I think it is. 41, which Jefferson is that? Yeah, Jay Jefferson. Behind those guys, James Bowles, who hasn't won in so long. It's right on board with uh, James Bowles, your former champion. And it looks like we're under caution here. It looks like we had a wreck. Marco Cipaz in the 43 heavy rear end damage. And Gustavo Arrocha looks like those two are involved in a bit of a scuffle. As caution flag is out for the first time. Let's get a look at the replay and see what happened. Right here, you're gonna watch a three and a 42 on the outside right there. Those guys make contact. Came down into Andy Strickland. And the three, Samet Oskin goes around right in front of Diego Yepez, or in front of Marcos Yepez. Mario Ventilera makes contact with him. And around he went into the middle of the pack right there. Nevins does a good job to try and avoid that right there. Samet Oskin didn't really get any damage from that, so he should be alright. As, um. Oh, okay, so. That's where the one car got a bit of a damage trying to get through that right there. Just got a little, little bump into the six car, but you should be all right. Let's uh, get you back to the restart. And uh, green set to go back green here as um, every driver's still on the track. Carter Friesen in the 11 has heavy hood damage after that first incident. As green flag is back out, Nick Smith is still your leader. Philip Goldberg aggressive on that restart is he's gonna try to come for the lead here but for a second. So side by side. Still cannot clear the 37. Nick Smith continues to lead. There's 11 who has heavy damage along with the 43. So uh, moving up through the field here. Everyone looks to be calm so far. There's a two, your points leader. This Philip Goldberg is still trying to get by. As Nick Smith continuing to lead here in the 22, has almost a second lead on um, Philip Goldberg in the 18. And Goldberg now settles in second in front of uh, Mohamed Abdullah. Jay Jefferson in 41 on the outside. Losing positions. There goes James Bowles. That 32 has been really impressive so far this season. Um, he's running right there in the fourth or in the fifth position as Nick Smith continues to lead. Nick 
Smith looking for victory lane for the first time in a long while. So it's Philip Goldberg, I do look for their first win. Hugo Jones who won the shootout, I believe, at Daytona. James Bowles, another competitive driver who hasn't won in a long while. So it looks like everyone's a bit more calm now. Um, that wreck did come up pretty early. Just look for your Atlanta winner and your points leader. He is right there, Max Anderson currently battling for 20th position, so I don't worry about Max Anderson currently losing some positions right there. Back up towards the front as Nick Smith continues to lead, has almost a full second lead on Philip Goldberg in 18. These guys most likely will have to make pit stops. Abdullah having a great run right now in that 37. Um, Dula's currently Give me a second. Of course, man. Sorry about that. Um, I'm actually watching the still race right now while doing this race which is really hard to do but um, Nick Smith in the 22 continues out front Philip Goldberg trying to chase him down the 37 um, Hugo Jones and Nathan Fade in the 32 a couple of um, not so big teams running up here in the top five you have James Bowles in the 48 Cobalt Tool Chevrolet Um, sorry, uh, yeah, I'm watching the race then. And, and so, um, yeah, we're still on a green. Here, it almost to be calm right now. Um, not, not really any big actions after that first incident. It's uh, two Max Anderson who's continuing to lose positions. Still can't seem to get to that inside lane right there. It's, your points leader probably won't be after this race if he doesn't try to get to the inside lane right there. And he's strictly in the Daytona 500 winner, running 21st right now. Battle right here between Alexander Rowe and James Stabilito. Alexander Rowe finished second out at um, Atlanta. Pretty good win for him. He's running right now in the top 20. Damian Fisher in the 5. One Atlanta in Xfinity Series. Looking for. Um, Another win here in the um, Cup Series. His last win came at Watkins Glen in um, last season. Diego Yepes, it's been a while since we've seen him in victory lane. Currently runs 17th. William Brock, 16th. Had a really fast car out at Atlanta. Arthur Buford, who's trying to turn his season around as um, the first two races has not been kind to him. Wrecked early at Atlanta, and I believe he wrecked in the Daytona race also. I can't really remember. Derek Hamill in the 27 looking for um, a really good run along with Hugh Canario. Uh, right now he's teaming Tony Green who's battling with position with Riley Spurley too. Um, Tim Randolph, former champion, running 10th right now. Jack Fitzwater Sr. right to, right, um, trying to battle with Richard Kinghart. I mean, what the hell? Where the hell did Keselowski come from? He just par passed Larson. I thought Larson was like two seconds ahead. Okay, so yeah, I'm watching a race, first race, and it's, it's really distracting. But, um, Lars is just bumping the shit out of Keselowski right now. So we head back to the front as Nick Smith, barely a second um, ahead. As there he is now, he is a, a second ahead of 
we're going to go break it at 18 as we are not halfway for, um, with this race. There's car freezing in the 11. So I'll get a spectator view. He's going down into turn one. These guys are uh, coming out of turn four. And pit stops. Looks like it's going to be underway here. Philip Goldberg, the first taker. That's Philip Goldberg in the 18. He's going to get you some analysis right now. The 18 says this car is way too loose. Um, that's why you couldn't run down the 22. Was going to try to tighten up the car just a bit and probably put four fresh tires on that car right there. We're going to go to the 13. Hugo Jones, who on his side, he's a bit on the tight, tighter side right here. They're probably going to get four fresh tires. As I'm going to see who else is in the 95. The 78 is also in. Um, 15 is away. There goes Diego Yupez. As I'm going to look for the 22 here. Nick Smith. There he is. He's now down pit road along with the 25. Nearly make contact. He does make contact with the 95 right there. Who was trying to get out of pit road. Oh, Kislaska won the stage by the way. Whatever. Um, so Nick Smith now on pit road is gonna try and get some left side uh, yeah, left side tires now. It says the car is perfect, just a bit on the free side, and they're now out. As you're gonna look for the 37 who was scored as the leader last time. There he is now down pit road. So um, pit road very, very busy right now is 37 Abdullah in, in um, the pits. Oh, heavy, heavy damage for William Brock. William Brock in the 33, some heavy hood damage right there for the 33. As I believe that was on pit road, we're going to take a quick look at that right there. It's, I think it was coming out of pit road, maybe. Oh, okay, so Tim Randolph trying to get on pit road. As a late decision runs right into the barrier and just destroyed his car along with William Brock. And problems for some guys on pit road. Andy Strickland also gets into him right there. And that just slowed up a lot of guys as the 17 is going to be out of this race. No caution was called for that as the 22, um, Nick Smith, is still your leader. As he cycles back to the lead. Philip Goldberg, however, is right on his tail this time. He's right on board with the 18. I'm surprised they didn't call the caution right there for that pit road incident. 37 still in third. Um, Nathan Cloud in 32. Jones, Richard Kingard, and James Bowles battling for position. Riley Sparley to 8th. Dean Canari on 9th. And John Buford running out your top 10. Tony Green, Diego Lopez battling for position. Diego Lopez driving with that 77 Toyota machine. It's been a while since we've seen him and Victor Renane. Let's see what he can do because we know he can win. So we'll see what happens here this season. So as for next season, I have decided that I will only run the Cup Series for next season. But I will continue to run all three seasons of the series for this season and this season only. As next season, we'll only move on to the Cup. So that way, as much time isn't being consumed. Marcus Pez is currently running the 39th position. One car out of the race. I believe that's just a... Oh, two cars out of the race. That's 83 and a 17. Marcus Pez had a really strong car out of Atlanta. It's a complete opposite for him today as Nick Smith pulled away from Philip Goldberg to about half a second. Nick Smith been so long since he's seen in Victor Lane. His next time by will be 11 laps to go. Nick Smith so far has led most laps, not every single lap, but he's led the most laps. He's trying to finish off strong here. He 
Nick Smith making a big change to start his own team this season was Risk Horizon Motorsports last season. Got a few wins, decided to make his own team this season for Flying Racing. His teammate who won Atlanta last week um, is the points leader, but may not be after this race, Nick Smith. Right now for Flying Racing, trying to get two wins in a row here. Had his teammate won last week. Try to win it this week. Ten laps to go at the Milwaukee Mile. As Philip Goldberg, the car still the car seems to be a bit on the tighter side now. Remember he said the car was loose on that earlier run after pit stops. Looks like it's a bit more tight. It's gonna allow the 37 Abdullah to try and get by him here. It's a great run by this team right now. As um, Diego Lopez still trying to get by Tony Green. The field is just a bit split up and single foul for the most part. There's your points leader right there not having a good run this week as he did last week winning the race in Atlanta. His teammate right now currently leading so that's a good that's good for the team. There's William Brock with heavy damage after that pinroad incident. As Nick Smith coming up on lap cars here see how that works out as Abdullah has taken over second from Philip Goldberg. Abdullah can only hope that the lap car slows down to 22 enough to try to get there for a win. Nick Smith to start off the season um, wrecked that they got wrecked on lap one I believe at Daytona not happy with Andy Strickland after, or not happy with um, Chauncey Henry Jr. after that. Um, Atlanta, he did pretty good. I believe he had a top 10, if I remember correctly. He was running a top 10 most of the day, so I assume he finished with top 10. And today, he's led the most laps, looking really dominant. Has a sec almost two second lead on the second place car. His teammate won last week. Trying to, he's trying to win it this week here. With six laps to go. Nick Smith looking for his first win with his new team. As it looks like the switch to Ford isn't a big the switch from Chevy to Ford doesn't seem to affect him much. As he's still performing like a veteran here. As we now have five laps to go. There goes Marcus Yepes. Two second lead now over the 37. We'll see what happens here if he's going to get held up or not. Here's a 37 who has a bit of a gap on uh, Philip Goldberg who now runs third. Nathan Faden or Nathan Faden running fourth. James Bowles running fifth. As big traffic of lap cars in the way here for Nick Smith. He's 2.17 seconds now ahead of the 37. So let's see what happens. Got a fellow four teammate, manufacturing teammate behind you who's currently the leader. Might want to let him by. Not sure what the 43 is doing here. As we'll see if that lead shrunk any. And it did just a little bit, not too much. As four are um, three laps to go, actually. As Nick Smith continues to lead, Muhammad Zayma Abdullah running second, Philip Goldberg third. I honestly cannot remember the last time Nick Smith has been in victory lane. Um, it's been a while. Two laps to go remaining here. As the lead has shrunk, but I don't think it's going to be enough for the 37 to catch Nick Smith here. Nick Smith drove for a big team last season, started his own team, and looks like it's going to also be a very competitive team, a big team. Um, flying racing, one last week, trying to do it again this week. White flag is in the air for Nick Smith. He's trying to get that 43 underway, but 43 is just, you know, it's the last lap. He's trying to stay on the lead lap here. 
his day hasn't been going quite his way and the last thing he wants to do is finish the lap down and Nick Smith just all over his back bumper but it doesn't matter right now as Nick Smith has the drought ends and Nick Smith for flying racing his new team is gonna win it here at the monster or yeah at the Milwaukee mile run right there for Nick Smith as he scores the win and that puts Flying Racing at two wins two out of three races one here as uh, Muhammad Abdullah great run finishes second Philip Goldberg third Nathan Fadem fourth and James Bowles running at your top five right there Ali Spurley two Jonathan Buford Tony Green Hugo Jones and Nick Canario your top ten Fitzwater Senior and Derek Hamill eleventh and twelfth it's a um, pretty calm race for the most part as Connor Hurley and Tim Randolph, the only drivers that didn't finish this race, everyone else did finish the race. So congratulations to Nick Smith on another win added to his career, his first win with his new team. And it comes here at um, Milwaukee Mile. Let's get you down to Victory Lane. Or oh, wait, shit. Just realized I didn't export the Xfinity Series race. God damn it. I'm probably going to have to do the Xfinity Series race all over. So let me make sure I export this one. Um, there we go. Damn it! Probably have to do the Xfinity Series race over. But oh well. Um, thank you guys for watching. Let's get you down to Victory Lane where Nick Smith celebrates.